This is Darshan. He's been active in the professional League of Legends scene for the past decade. For the next 31 days, he will be directing serious practice towards Valorant with me as his guide. How far can someone climb in such a short time frame when they're exceptionally proficient at self-improvement? Are competitive esport athletes easily capable of learning other genres of games? Let's find out. Our starting rank is Silver 1. This is day one of Darshan's 31-day Valorant bootcamp. At the time of editing this video, Darshan has already finished his first day of practice. He played for nine hours and gained 270 RR. Darshan sucks, by the way, chat. I'll say it the wrong way. Yo, what's up? I definitely wasn't just trash talking your Valorant at all. I'm speechless. I have nothing to say. <laughs> All right, all right, let's get right into it, dude. Let's get right I into it. I thought this was a League of Legends stream. Oh. Did I we, come to the wrong place? You know, Dur I'm going to be doing a 48 hour in probably a couple of months, and I will be playing League. So I think it'd be super cool if you'd be down to play during that. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. But right now, it's time yeah, to put our pride aside and kind of show the world what Darshan Valorant looks like. Dude, okay. I'm just setting the expectations right. I haven't played the game for a few weeks. I'm Silver 1. I need to actually do... Like, I need a couple minutes here to, like, go into a deathmatch or something so yes. I don't look absolutely I was, ridiculous. No, I want you to play that deathmatch live right now. I want you to share your screen. Because we're going to have you play a DM, and then I'm going to give you some drills, and we're going to run back the DM. Oh, we're going to play deathmatch before we actually play a game. Yeah, we're probably not even going to play a ranked game today. Well, you might, off off my stream. But, um, yeah, I got bad you, news you for you. You're, you need to be this tall to to ride, and you're not you're not tall enough yet. So you're saying I'm not even good enough to play a ranked game on stream? No, you're not even good enough for us to talk macro yet on stream, if that makes sense. We need to talk micro first. Um, I yeah, don't know. There's sense. not a good League of Legends analogy because it's League of Legends is far more complicated um, and macro kind of matters at all phases. But let's, like, let's imagine you didn't even know that Hidden Minions gave you money. Like, I need to teach you those things first. Okay, yeah, oh. boot up the DM. Let's see what raw Darshan looks like. Wait, yeah. deathmatch even before going on the range? Hold yeah, on. yeah. I want to see your purely unadulterated deathmatch gameplay right now. No, no, I, I need like one minute in the range. You can't do this to me. You're just trying <laughs> to humili humiliate me on stream. Just because I'm a pro gamer doesn't mean you can get away with that. <laughs> Share the screen. Share the screen, Darshan. Share the screen. Share the screen. Let's see. It. Everyone wants to see what a professional League of Legends player looks like in Valorant. You're having too much fun with this. I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> I have too much fun with all my streams. <laughs> I want to see your raw deathmatch. So just buy a Vandal and sweat it up. Let's see what you got. I'm going to mute too. All right, chat. This is going to be funny. Can you link Darshan's stream? Yeah, I think it's just twitch.tv slash Darshan. Okay, I need to put push talk so I don't like troll you. Oh, it's all good. You can talk out loud. I'm just going to be muted talking to my chat. No, commentating exactly. over your DM. If I'm talking to my chat on yours, like that's like... That's like stream amateur. Like, oh, no, it's fine. It's level. fine. I'm not a content creator. I'm just a guy. Feel free to make it scuffed as hell. <laughs> we got some trouble. Looks like my FPS is shit. <laughs> oh, some of you guys sniped him. I see Miracle in chat saying W Darshan. Wait, Neon Javier is in this. You guys all sniped this DM. You guys a pro, right? Uh, League of Legends pro. He's... As you can see, quite bad at Valorant. You better tell right, him to play in full go. screen. Actually, um, windowed full screen of this game is optimized. Go full screen, yeah. Pretty much the same. Oh, he's not even in windowed full screen though. What the heck? Okay, he didn't I hit apply. Screen, he didn't hit apply. The shit doesn't. Uh... You have to click apply. It's the big green button right below the setting you just selected. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but I clicked apply, but look at this shit. It's still uh. Dude, I swear, I clicked apply and it's not working. Ah, uh, whatever. Fuck it. All right, what FPS are you getting? Uh, you have you can what? uncheck all the limit FPS settings to off. Limit FPS on battery off. Limit FPS on menus off. Yeah, not try. My God, chat. He's clueless. He's clueless. Wow, look at that peeking though. He's silver. Wait, that wasn't bad. That gunfight was quite bad. You though. just wanted to see me get zero kills in a death match on stream, huh? No, 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 you got this, you got this. Turn it on, turn it on. Oh! Ooh. He might just need to play more TBH. Yeah. You know, he's going to be cracked really fast. <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell, I played Call of Duty <laughs> a lot. <laughs> How's this guy silver? And you're bronze? You're not this bad, are you? You are. You are this bad. 
Yeah, but look at his, his crosshair placement and movement. Like, I'd hate to say it. Specifically, the way he, like, moves before he enters fights. Like, the way he moves around. I think it's already, like, close to JPC. Like, in fights, it's terrible. Terrible. Way worse. But out of fights, like, the crosshair and the movement. He's ADing. Like, look at that. That's all AD. That's really good. He doesn't have W bind to knife or anything. Like, he's got great technique. Yeah, he backs away from angles and ADs. Aim is so shaky. Yeah, he doesn't play FPS games. He's on like 800.2, uh, I believe. How do we know this stuff? Internalized. This is what I'm saying. This guy's a gamer chat. This guy watches people play and he just... He doesn't even... He probably couldn't consciously tell you that he's backing up from every corner and trying to AD it. I haven't said a word because I'm actually focusing so hard. <laughs> like this guy's going to improve really fast. Oh god. <laughs> He's a gamer at heart. He's wired for gaming. Alright, I did this for the stream, guys. I swear I haven't touched this game in weeks. Oh my god, that sage got me good. Watch. I'm gonna give him drills. We're gonna spend like 20 minutes of the range. We're gonna play DM again, and it's gonna be night and day. It's gonna be night and day. Mark my words. This guy's gonna get it like off rip. Alright. Perfect, Darshan. Thank you. Now we're going into the range. And we're going to spend like 20 minutes in the range and then we're going to go back and play another DM. Because we need to... You actually have great movement um, when you're not in your fights and your crosshair placement is also not that bad. Um, I mean, it's not great, but for your rank, it's honestly quite impressive. Uh, could you see my screen? I'm sharing my screen. I'm also going to boot up the range. As I was saying, your movement when you don't have an enemy on your screen is great. Uh, and your crosshair placement, honestly, like way above par. I'd put you closer to platinum if I had to randomly take a stab in the dark. But in your fights, it's um, honestly disgusting. Um, <laughs> and so we need to learn. Uh, essentially, there's this one concept that's really important, and that's you only want to stop moving when you're shooting. And I mean, that makes sense. Um, everyone tells you that, like you just stop to shoot. But what I specifically mean is until you're ready to shoot like on them, you keep moving. And we can actually practice that. So what our first drill is going to be is you're going to do easy bots. And when the bots spawn on the left, you're going to flick past them and adjust with your movement by walking to the right. And you're going to stop once you're on it and shoot. And then you'll reset back to the center. So it'd be like this and back. And the same idea if it spawns on the right. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. That makes sense? Yeah. Perfect. And... Let me, yeah, can you just run that real quick on easy? I'm curious what that looks like. Let's do it. I don't know how hard that is for you. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why aren't we moving? Whoa, whoa, stop, stop. What happened? Wait, you want me to... Pause. I'm going to demonstrate again. You're too busy reading chat or something, man. I don't know, but come back to my screen share. Okay, okay, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. You sure? You're actually internalizing I'm, now? I'm 100% watching. Man. Okay, when the bot spot on the left, I need you to flick past it and move onto the bot and shoot and then reset to the center and when they spawn on the right you over flick this way and move with a and again i'm gonna shoot some over flick move onto the bot and reset over flick move onto the bot and reset oh, over flick see. move onto the bot and reset you got okay, it yeah, i've never done something like this i know i know of course you have it. <laughs> i can, you can tell, tell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay okay so do it that way please yeah, do not stop your movement until you shoot. I see. Yeah, if it spawns close, that's fine. Yep, try to start your movement sooner. The moment that boss spawns, I want you moving. I see, okay. So even before, like, I... Uh... Yeah, pretend an enemy just peeked you from an angle you weren't expecting. If you're standing still when that happens, you're dead. So okay, your wait. gut reaction shouldn't be to just flick at that enemy. It should be to start moving while you aim at that enemy, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, except you moved the wrong way. Yes, that one was really good. Yep. I see, okay. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. you're getting it, you're getting it. You're actually hitting all of them now. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to my screen. I think you learn quickly by watching. So now I'm gonna do it on medium and we're gonna see if you can get any on medium. You see my screen? Yeah. So medium's a lot faster. Go watch.
So I have a question. Yep. When I'm watching you do it, yep. you move your like you move your aiming first before you move. But yes, but it's very just... fluid. Go uh, ahead. Okay, so I should I should always I should be moving my aim first. Like the, yes, it but it should be very snappy. Okay, got it. And what I'm actually starting my movement around the same time. It's just there's acceleration in Valorant, so I'm not at full speed off rip. If that makes sense. Got it. Okay, so let's let's see what your medium looks like. You gotta go fast. Perfect. I want you averaging uh, above 20 on this by uh, like Wednesday. Okay. Got it. So I'm medium. So you'll, you can pace yourself. Uh, you can do more easy to prepare for medium, uh, but I'm going to let you direct your own pacing on that. I think you know how to get better at stuff like that. So that's our first drill. Um, Hold on. Let me write it down. Yeah. 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 Chat, 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 chat. Ignore the, the goals I'm setting for him in these timelines are very unrealistic. Okay. I'm pushing Darshan because I know that he is the type to rise up to the challenge. If I tell him he should do something by Wednesday, he's going to get mad at himself when he's not there and he's going to push himself to get there. Okay. Do not take these uh, lines I'm setting All right. uh, to heart. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next drill. This one's going to hurt. Okay. Can you look at my screen again? Yeah. Okay. So we're actually going to come out into the range with a Vandal for this one. And I need in um, video stats, you scroll all the way down and it's called shooting error. I need you to turn on the graph. And uh, what this does, um, do you see my screen still? Yep. In the top right, you see that graph? These bullets. So they're orange if um, my bullets are accurate, essentially. And they'll get taller the more into my spray I am. If there's any blue, that means there's movement inaccuracy. That means I'm moving while I'm shooting those bullets, okay? So all we're doing for this drill, nice and simple, is imagine there's these two dots roughly like two shoulder widths apart on the ground between this line. I want you shooting two bullets in the pillar, moving over here, two bullets in the pillar, back and forth. The, and you have to make it between these dots. You can't take tinier steps. And we're going to push it using a metronome on our time. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna route my audio real quick through my Discord mic so you can hear me. I'm going to boot up a metronome. Right now, I'm going to do 80 BPM to show you what it sounds like. Can you hear this metronome? Yep. Perfect. You see my shooting error graph? Yep. All no, orange, no. okay? So we're starting at 80. However, our target is 110. So let me play that now. Ready? Okay, really, it's really hard. You have to nearly be, nearly, um, like, dead on the timing. So start at 80 or even slower BPM. But just like that other drill, we're going to try and work up to 100 or 110 BPM. Uh, and I'm going to give you, like, Friday for 100 or 110. It's really hard. Uh, can I see... Can you try 80 BPM right now? I'm going to watch your screen. Yeah, let me get a... Yep, yep. Man, this one, the sound sucks for this one. I guess it works though. <laughs> <laughs> Yours has a nice clickety clackety, or like it has a nice like. Uh... Yeah, mine's a YouTube video. I can link it to you if you want it. Yeah, actually, I think that's gonna make me play better. No okay, cap. okay, I got you. Say less. I need to turn on that setting. Yeah, and when I'm aiming at that pole between my bursts, I'm aiming first and then moving, just like in the bot drill that we just did. If that makes sense. So I'm not trying to track the pole. Instead, I'm letting my movement bring my crosshair back to the pole. Okay, where do I shoot the holes in the? Is in the pillar oh you don't have to shoot the ground it's just like mentally visualize i want you like a full step to either side of that line okay, and i start in the middle of the line right uh no you start on the left or the right i don't care which side and okay. you're aiming a bit too high right now we should aim a little lower uh yeah that looks good okay wait but i still have to okay i see it yep. has to be like it has to be like this and then over there and then back okay. and back and st right now you're tracking the pole stop that it should be nearly okay. just one mouse movement and then the rest is movement like all uh, oh, keyboard so it's one yes you got the idea there you flick to the left and 
Yeah, just like that. Yup. Just like the drill we were practicing against the bots. Yeah, but there you see on your left, you're not getting all the way over the line. You can start moving probably sooner. And you'll know if you're okay as long as the graph is all orange. So you can watch back your VODs. So you've got direct feedback loop. So when you move your mouse here, I shoot here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not tracking. So you just... Yep. Yeah, it probably helps if I just do it again. Yeah. Now watching. that you know that you want to look for this. Yeah. See my screen? Yeah. You got it? Does that make sense? I see. You're basically just flicking to the angle that... You're flicking to the angle so your movement like... My movement is finishing the aim. Yep, yeah. exactly. Okay, there is like micro adjustments that my uh, hand is making, but that's all like subconscious. I'm not really thinking about that. The main movement is that big flick at the start. You're also aiming too high again. Got it. Okay. I'm watching you again. Yep. Yeah, perfect. You've got the idea. I want you to try and get this to 100 BPM by Friday, like real clean. Uh, but I would be happy if you even have it clean like lower than that i don't know how i don't know how good you are i'm not sure you can hit 100 by friday but hey prove me wrong and this technique is going to transition directly into our dms so i'm quickly going to go back to my screen now in our dms we are going to take these two drills essentially we're going to outside of gunfights you were already perfect i liked the way we were moving and we were peeking but now when we find an enemy we've got a, a little bit of a flow chart that needs to happen in our brain if they're near our crosshair and they're decently far, I'd say mid or long range. So we're going to say roughly this range or further, this bot that I'm aiming at. If they're here or further back, then we're going to aim like we just aimed with these bursts like this, trying to fight them. Okay. If they're closer, then we're going to spray and you can crouch, you can move um, and whatnot. And that's all fine. So that's the first bit. If they're like near our crosshair. Now, let's say they're not near our crosshair. Like we peek and, oh, they're in an off angle or they just peeked us from some other angle. That's where the first drill is going to come into play. I need you to stay mobile until you're ready to shoot them. And then we enter the fight like it's a normal fight. So you don't stop, aim, shoot. You move, you aim, and then you stop, shoot. If that makes sense. So you only stop once it's, you're ready to actually click their head. Yeah. So they surprise you. You stay mobile until you're ready, until you're super ready. Oops, I bumped into something. And then you shoot. Uh, and then of course, if they're close, if they're close, you just keep moving and you can run and gun. It's actually really effective in this game. And if they're longer range, the two tap and moving that I just showed you. Okay. So with that in mind, I want you to play another DM now, and I'm going to be the devil on your shoulder. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, and during those bursts, if you're timing it right, the vandal is going to have very minimal spray. So you don't really need to pull down. So if you find your bullets are going up above them, that's generally indicative that you're rushing your shots and you're getting deeper into the spray than you should be. Oh, you got sniped again by some of my viewers. <laughs> Miracle is in your first DM and so was Neon Javier. And they're both in my chat. I recognize their names. Is there MMR for deathmatch? Very loose MMR, very loose. It's essentially, oh, oh you won a DM. Here's some other people who just won a DM type of matchmaking. Okay, got it. Because I was about to say, like, you got some pistols in your stream then. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. No shots, but I do I do not win death matches. That's all no, I'm trying you to did. say. Thank you for you the know? prime. You're going to. You're going to start winning death matches. Well, <laughs> yeah, Miracle's offended. I'm kidding, Miracle. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. You're good, man. You're good. What the hell was that? Gun out. What? Oh, well, I was... Whoa, what was that? You didn't move between those bursts. Yeah, okay. I was I was just fucking around until we actually start, but I guess we're I guess we're technically starting. Yeah. That was good technique. I like that you moved while you aimed at that guy. You just whiffed. Oh. I see. Okay. We don't talk about that. I wasn't gonna. <laughs> you didn't move. Well, you did, but between your second burst and your third, you didn't. 
I don't care if you die every fight. I do care if you don't move between bursts. Wow, that guy's actually the um. Yeah, aim for the head, please. I don't care if you miss. The problem is, okay, yeah. Aiming in the head and then moving is like two different things. Yeah, you know they're I mean? gonna become the same thing very quickly. Clean. <laughs> Love that from you. You just forgot to shoot. That would be a running gun scenario. They were very close. We shouldn't get more. Got it. Yep. It's actually helpful. Oh my God. That would be running gun there. They kill us really fast though. That yeah, is also running gun. Don't dance. You always run and gun close. You yes, don't ever, like, and you want to make sure you're strafing, not running at them, running like away from their crosshair, essentially. Got it. That makes sense. You didn't move between oh. your bursts. Yeah. Oh wow! I literally just got wall banged. You crouch, move between the bursts. You're gonna move between your bursts. You're gonna do it. You're gonna move. It's the only thing you care about. <laughs> you're gonna shoot two, you're gonna move. That's all you're gonna do. This guy right here, two, and then move. Ooh, nice headshot. This next guy though, you're definitely gonna move after your first two shots. No doubt in my mind. Yep. Oh, if you didn't kill him, you were totally gonna move though. This next guy, <laughs> you're moving for sure right here. Yes, there it is, you did it. You dodged his bullets. Did you see that? Yes. Yes. You see that guy started spraying at you. You moved out of the way and then you laid him the hell out. That's it. That's the dopamine. You're going to move. You're totally going to move on this next guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yup. Who's next? Who's next? You forgot to oh move. What? God. You need me okay, whispering was... in your ear every time? <laughs> yeah, it just it gets my uh, Valorant senses going, tingling. Oh my god, we're not going to talk about that. Yes, bigger movements, please. Nice try. Running gun there. You see how he yeah. ran and gan you, and yeah. you couldn't do anything about him? Yeah, that's a really bad habit I have, actually. That guy's one it's of my viewers. He just sniped you. You just oh did it again. God. What are you he doing? Huh? On me. No, you didn't move. It. That's gonna happen to me. I mean, this, that guy watches Wahujin streams. What can I do, you know? Exactly. Oh. There you stopped while you were still aiming at him. Don't do that. What do you mean stop while still aiming at him? You weren't like, ready to shoot his head, but you were standing still. Got it. You should only stop makes... moving once you're ready to shoot his head. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. No. no. No, 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 no. I remember when I said I don't care if you die. That looked good. You were trying to move. Yup. Yup. Oh, there we go. I... It's okay. It's okay. You're getting mentally conscious of it. <sighs> Perfect. Perfect. So roughly a 45 minute block is you doing those two drills and then spamming DMs. And then we're playing our rank games. Okay. And in our rank games, this is going to sound insulting, but you're just going to pick Reyna. And the only thing you're going to focus on is what we just did in those DMs. That's it. All right. So all you want, like, it's, I consider it a win if in that ranked game, you took every fight like I just told you you need to take them in that DM. If you do that, I promise we're, we'll be ready to play strategy in no more than a week. And then we, we can find an agent that you like, a role that you like, and we can start talking strategy. But this is like, this is our first week is like the quick boot camp of mechanics we need to get this subconscious we need to not have to worry about this stuff and then we can play the game so you're just gonna lock reyna because her utility is borderline useless and all you really need to focus on are the gunfights 45 minutes of this and however many rank games we agreed upon per day i forget what our number was what's our number how many rank games are we playing I think every it's day? two to three but ideally three sounds good to me any yeah. questions that's our first session we're not playing ranks right now no that's it that's yeah no, i mean 
I think I just need to spam those. Exactly. Like, you just got to get this in your fingers. Move. If I can't move and shoot properly, then it's exactly. Just like and now you should have a good idea of how to do it. Like you know what the end goal looks like. You've got that movement error graph. I've given you the the BPM targets, and we want to do medium boss for that first drill, averaging at least twenty. If you hit those bars, you're gonna be fragging, because uh, people will not be able to play against you in silver. They just won't be able to handle you. So yeah. Good luck, dude. I appreciate you doing this with me. I'm looking forward to seeing you progress. You you are already learning so quickly. I'm really excited to see what it looks like like one week from now. <laughs>